Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to fix this error which occurs while your Windows is trying to boot. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. This error indicates that the computer is unable to find or load certain files to run the operating system. It happens when boot files are damaged, when there are certain hard disk issues, or when your BIOS configuration is incorrect. In today's video, we'll explore every possible cause in detail and find a way to boot the operating system and recover data that might be lost after such errors. As I was saying, this error code suggests that the bootloader encountered some problems and couldn't locate the files required to boot normally. It may happen in one of the following cases. After the operating system was cloned and transferred to an SSD or another hard disk. After two more operating systems were installed on different disks of the same computer. After new disks were added or one of the hard disks was disconnected. As a result of the change in the ID on the hard disk. Also, it happens because of various file system errors and when a hard disk gets damaged. Sometimes this error code may emerge spontaneously without any user actions to trigger it. It may go away when you boot your computer one more time and then reappear when you boot it next time. The first thing you should do is to check the physical connection of your hard disk and other devices. Disconnect the computer from the power outlet and check if its cables are properly connected to the hard disk and the motherboard. It's important, since this error is often caused by poor connection. If you need to recover data quickly after you notice this kind of error, use a specialized data recovery tool – Hetman Partition Recovery. To do it, connect the hard disk which contains the operating system to another Windows PC or laptop. For such connection, you can use a USB to SATA adapter or connect the hard disk directly to another computer. After that, download, install and run Hetman Partition Recovery. In the Drive Manager, find the disk to recover data from. You can look at the capacity to understand which one you need. Right-click on the disk and choose Open. After that, select the scan type – file scan or full analysis. In this case, a file scan will be enough. As a result, the tool will scan the disk in no time and display all files and folders it has found. After that, you will only need to find the files you'd like to recover. If they were stored in the Documents folder, go to Users – Username – Documents. If you know the file names, use the Search by Name feature. Click on the Search button here and type a name in this field. Then hit Find. Select all the items you want to recover and click on the Recovery button. Choose where to save the files, choose the disk and folder and click Recover again. After that, the selected files will be put into the folder that you have chosen. If the program failed to find the necessary files, then run Full Analysis. Go back to the main window, right-click on the volume and choose Analyze again. Full Analysis. Specify the file system and click Next. This process is quite long and its duration depends on the scanned disk size. When the scan is over, go to the folder where the deleted files used to be. Select them and click Recovery. Now, let's explore how to restore the computer's ability to boot after it was struck by this nasty error. The first method to fix the problem is to change the BIOS configuration. It can help if you didn't make any changes to your disks, didn't add new SSDs or HDDs. Open your BIOS or UEFI. You can access it by pressing the Escape button right after you see the error. Move on to the Boot tab. 
if your BIOS has the option Windows Boot Manager, set it as the first boot device. If such option is missing, choose the disk with the operating system as the first boot device. Check if the options include Fast Boot. If it's active, turn it off by choosing Disable. After you've made these changes, save the settings by pressing the F10 key and selecting Save. Restart the computer and check if it can boot correctly. If the error persists and your computer has several hard disks installed, while you selected the system driving our previous step, try choosing another hard disk as your first boot device. Sometimes the bootloader can be found on a disk other than the system one. There are cases when such error can be triggered by fast startup option. If you notice the error occurs after you shut down the computer, but it never happens after you restart it, the fast startup appears to be the root of the problem. To disable it, open Control Panel, Power Options, choose what the power buttons do, change settings that are currently unavailable. Here, uncheck the box next to Turn on Fast Startup and Save Changes. If you notice that the error occurs after you change BIOS settings, reset them to default values. Otherwise, revert the changes you have made. To reset the BIOS, look for a corresponding option. For the following methods, you will need a Windows bootable flash drive. You can watch a dedicated video about creating a bootable drive, and I'll put the link in the description as always. So, you need to boot from this flash drive by hitting F2, F11 or F12 to choose your boot device. When you have booted from this drive, choose Repair your computer. This menu contains several options. Choose Startup Repair. This is an automatic process that will try to restore boot files. If the automatic repair fails to fix the problem, you can try to restore boot files manually with the command prompt. To do it, open command prompt in the Troubleshoot tab and type the following commands. These commands will repair the bootloader and help Windows find the files required to boot normally. Another method is to check the hard disk for errors. In the installer window, press the key shortcut Shift F10 to open the command prompt. If you are using a laptop, you might need to press the Fn key additionally. After that, type the following commands one by one. Now you need to identify the system drive letter. When booting from a flash drive, this could be a disk different from disk C. Then type this command, and you need to use the correct drive letter here. Wait until the scan process is complete. After that, run another command to repair system files. Now boot the computer into normal mode and check if there are any errors. The following method will help you if the error occurs after you have transferred the operating system to another disk. It may also happen if you disable or format the old system drive. If the old system drive remains unchanged, it's recommended to disable it before you take any further action. So, boot your computer with the bootable flash drive again and press Shift F10. When the command prompt appears on the screen, type the following commands. Here, you need to identify the system drive letter. In my case, this is the letter. Also, you need the drive letter for the disk which contains FAT32 file system and the UEFI bootloader. If there is an FAT32 partition, type the following commands. Specify the number of the FAT32 partition and assign a drive letter to it. Then type another command, and you also need to add the system drive letter. If there is no FAT32 partition, the operating system is installed on the legacy mode on an MPR disk. In this case, leave disk part, using the command exit, and perform this command. It also requires the system drive letter. 
After that, restart the computer and check if the error occurs again. If none of the suggested methods help you, the only viable solution will be to reinstall the operating system. In this case, the system drive will be erased, as well as all of its files. If it comes to that, the best solution would be to recover files from the disk with the help of a recovery tool and then reinstall your Windows. As I said before, Hetman Partition Recovery will help in getting files from the disk. Summing up, we have explored several methods to help you fix this nasty error. As you have seen, this error may be caused by both BIOS settings and damaged boot files or misconfigured hard disks. It's important not to panic and take the recommended steps one by one. In most cases, this problem can be solved without having to reinstall the operating system. Still, if you ever need to do that, our channel has got this topic covered in a special video about reinstalling the operating system without losing important files. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!